Hello everyone. Now we'll have a look at how Celoxis helps you track your risks. You can capture risks per project. We support import of Excel files too. Attach a variety of custom fields. Customize your risk flow. Automate recurring risks. Many risks are recurring in nature. For example, if you are required to monitor risk every month, we'll ensure this risk pops up on your dashboard in the first of every month. And lastly, create risk dashboards and run powerful reports. Here we can have a look at a typical risk flow. Risks are first identified, then analyzed, and then they are either avoided, mitigated, accepted, or transferred. In case of recurring risk, they need to be reviewed regularly. You can fully customize this flow. For example, you can have even have a simple workflow with open and closed teams. Let's now have a look at the risk fields. All these fields are fully customizable. You can modify, delete, or add your own fields. I have created these fields to illustrate what's possible and also to show how other customers use it. The first four are quite common. The last two are interesting. They help you quantify each risk and using this you can quantify the total risk in a project. First, we have value which is a dollar amount associated with this risk. This could be something like additional cost or impact on profits. Then, we have value at risk which is the expected hit on a risk. It is also referred to as VAR. Let's take an example. A value of $10,000 for a risk with probability of 20% will have a VAR of $2,000. Let's now go to the tool and have a look at a typical risk register. Here, you can see all the risks with the fields that we saw earlier. You can also see the state each risk is in. We can also see the total impact of all the open risks which is about $1,50,000. Let's have a look at this risk. We can see the workflow of the risk right here and all the fields here. Team members can collaborate here by adding their comments just like we saw on tasks. Now let's say that we have mitigated this risk. Let's click on the mitigate button to record this. Now let's change the probability to rare since our actions have made this risk less probable and also enter some mitigation plan for the same. If this is a recurring risk then you can enter the review date right from here. Let's submit and we can see that the risk has been mitigated. If you want to review the risk across multiple projects, then you can do that too. Here, you can see all the risks grouped by project. You can also build your own risk dashboard. Here first, we see a typical bubble chart of risks. Then we see some top risks. Then we can see the projects with the highest value at risk. The project event launch has the highest value at risk of about $227,000. Next, we can see the managers with the highest total VARs across projects. And this widget here shows us the VAR for your vertical. You can see that advertising projects carry the highest total risk. Like in other charts, you can click to drill down. So that was all on managing risks. Thank you.